Hello, this is another episode of Paul's Beer Reviews. Um, this is number seven, I believe. And tonight we've got a good one for you. It is a beer from Fuller's, based in uh, Chiswick, London. And it is a bottle of their London Pride. It's their flagship ale. They do a lot of beers. Fuller's are actually one of my favourite brewers. And this is, their, this is their main brew. This is the one where you think of Fuller's. This is the beer you think of. London Pride coming in at 4.8% ABV. Oh no, correct myself, 4.7%. I do apologise. Um, let's see what it says on the bottle. Authentic, original and full of character. London Pride is unmistakably London's beer. Brewed with a rich, distinctive base of British malt and a diverse blend of targets, Goldings, Challenger and North Down hops. For vibrancy and balance, the essence of our capital city and the people who call it home. Um... I'm a big fan of this stuff. I'm a big fan of pretty much everything that Fuller's do. Um, I try and frequent the Fuller's pubs around here um, when I can. I think I'm lucky in the sense that I, I don't live too far away from the city. Um, I get to uh, I get to go to one of these one or two of these Fuller's these Fuller's pubs, and this is superb on tap. It seems the closer you get to the cent centre of London, the better this stuff gets. I find. Um, so yeah. Anyway, there's the bottle cap. Um, these recently changed. They used to be kind of a shrunk down version of the the main logo that you get on the bottle. There used to be a shrunk version of that on the bottle, but they've recently changed them. Um, it's kind of difficult to figure out what they're doing with them now. I kind of get the feeling that if you get a few of these together, it makes out the writing or something, or maybe just a large version of the logo. I'm not too sure. I'll have to uh, drink a few more and find out. Anyway, enough of my uh, rambling. Let's get the bottle open and into a glass and see what we get here it goes jumbly jumbly boom right get that out of your way okay yeah, look at that. Good levels of carbonation, loads of bubbles shooting up the glass. Um, no head on it really. That's gone very quickly. Uh, not that's a big deal, but say good levels of carbonation. It's uh, on a chestnut in colour. It's uh, pretty see-through. I can see all the way through that. Very transparent. But it's a nice looking beer. Kind of an orangey, marmalade colour look to it, isn't it? It's uh, quite nice on the eye, but the head has gone straight away. So, um, let's get a nose. Oh, sweet. Toffee. Very malty. Not particularly fruity. But it's got a very nice, very nice toffee. Bit of caramel. Hasn't got a particularly bitter smell, not particularly no, no real hops or anything coming through in the nose. But a lovely toffee sort of caramel malt smell to it. Let's get a taste. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's good. Very nice. Very nice. Same with the, the smell that the flavour backs up the the toffee caramel. Beautifully malty. Um not uh not too much on the front end. Maybe the slight bit of orange peel. Maybe I'll get a bit of orange peel on the uh, on the palate as it first hits you up at the malt. It's all about the malt. It's got a lovely smooth sweet caramelly toffee kind of malt um it uh and then there's that slight slight bit of bitterness on the back end slight bit of hoppy bitterness on the back end but nothing too strong nothing too strong it's all about the malt on this one it's got a lovely mouthfeel mm. yeah it's a very tasty, very tasty ale. Again, slightest bit, slightest bit of uh, fruit peel. 
not particularly, not particularly citrusy, but maybe maybe the slightest bit of orange, orange peel on the beginning, on the the front of the palate, and then this toffee malt really takes over. Toffee caramel, a little bit of brown sugar in there. You know, it, it's um, really nice, really nice taste, and then the slightest, slightest, very subtle hoppy finish to it on the back end, but it's very nice. No real kind of alcohol taste to it. No real alcohol feel to it. It's a 4.7. So it's not the strongest, but certainly not the weakest. Um, I've I've had a few sessions on this. I thoroughly enjoyed them. <laughs> but this this is a good one. It's a good beer. Um, readily available, this stuff. You can get it everywhere. Um and um, I think I think I've you can get it in cans. I think you can get it in cans. I think I may have had it from a can, um, but I would always recommend bottles. And if you can get it on um, on on tap, if there's a pub near you that you know does it on tap, have a go. But um, you'd be quite lucky to find them. But uh, you go to a Fuller's pub and get a pint of it in one of them. It's superb, wonderful beer, London Prize, one of my favourites. Um, yeah. Um, Fullers do some fantastic beers. They do some great stouts. Um, they've got a Black Cab Stout, which is superb. Um, they have an extra special uh, beer. It's an ESB. Wonderful beer. I'm going to get hold of that and do a review of that. It's unbelievable, that stuff. Incredible beer. Wonderful. But this is very good. This is very, very good for their flagship ale. And probably their biggest seller. It's kind of their middle middle ground one, but it's it's wonderful. It's a wonderful beer. I fully recommend you have a go. Go out and have a one have one of these. It's terrific stuff. Um, it's going to get a good mark. Um, it'll always get a good mark. It's just a it's just a solid beer. It's a wonderful wonderful flavour to it. Um, I'm going to give uh, Fuller's London Pride uh, eight and a half out of ten. Okay, so eight and a half out of ten for Fuller's London Pride. Um, yeah, go out, get one, see what you think, and um, yeah, perhaps leave leave some comments below or like the video if you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, leave some comments, um, subscribe, and I'll uh, I'll be back with another beer review shortly. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.